bedroom and this guy means door to the league. Welcome to the 22nd floor. So what does 2,800 RMB get you per month? Let's have a look. Alrighty, please excuse the mess. I am currently packing to leave. Actually, this place has had lots of storage, which is definitely a pro. I have had no use for it. Rubbish, because I'm taking it out soon. Lots and lots of storage, which I really haven't used. Decent sized fridge, which is lovely. Just finishing off the last few things out of that. The kitchen with no window, not great. It really is this dirty when I moved in. So I haven't, I certainly haven't used that at all. Just come in, grab some breakfast, make some lunch quickly, and I'm sort of out. So these are just the last few things that need eating slash shoving in at the last minute. But again, kind of a lot of storage because I have literally used that. That's been my pantry drawer and that's where I keep my knives and forks. I must say I have really enjoyed the bathroom, which is right next to the kitchen here. I don't know, it's just had plenty of space. Yay! And possibly one of my favourite showers that I've ever lived in. With the rain head as well, has been really, really nice. Plenty of counter space, again, plenty of storage. Like I, re I actually haven't even used the storage, but that's not mine. <laughs> Yeah, then this living space slash dining, which, ugh, as I say, I've got rubbish to take out, which I really haven't used because the heating in this room is there, and even during winter it wasn't good. Now during summer, it's not great either, and so this hasn't been the most comfortable place. You can see I do my yoga in the morning. All this furniture was provided. Then this little laundry room the obligatory couple of hangy things it's been good because it's been in english which i've never had in an apartment before and that's so nice so it's quite dark in this apartment here's my little neighborhood my little complex It's been really, really dark in this apartment because the kitchen, the bathroom have no light. I leave this light on all of the time because it's just so dark in here. I've never used the TV because I have very rarely used this couch. It's two bedrooms. I don't use this one even though it has the bigger bed. I, I tried at the beginning. I tried. I got a mattress topper. I tried. But actually, what it was, was the windows, they're not sealed that well. <laughs> There's holes somewhere and I can hear like the traffic noise and it bothers me. But it does both air conditioning and heating. This one just isn't that efficient, it's not that good. So instead, I've been in here. Again, because I'm packing up, so this is not... Well, my bed actually doesn't look too much better than this. There was no mattress on this. And because I knew I probably wasn't going to be here for a long time, I didn't want to get... I didn't want to invest a lot. So I've actually been sleeping on an air mattress. Because I was just thinking, what is the easiest way to do this without putting in too much money? So as I said, the mattress toppers that I got. I've got one on the bottom here. And then I got another mattress topper to fit this because this is like a double size the closet again plenty of storage but i've literally never used this i have used the cupboards under uh, the drawers underneath which have been so good really really good empty now but they're very big and very deep so this is all built in and <laughs> with the bed head and everything and without the sound because this is a much smaller window <laughs> And so it blocks out a lot of the sound. But it is, it's also quite dark in here. Which, you know, for the most part it's fine. You're really only sleeping and chilling out. This I've really enjoyed. I used to have all my products here. I'd lay out my clothes, what I'm going to wear the next day. This I've never had before and I've, I think I'm going to miss that. But because this air conditioner slash heating worked the best in the whole house out of the three options I had, that's 
really been the reason behind why I chose what is the smaller and seemingly more uncomfortable space. I literally never see it here. Oh, no, I tell a lie. When I did some online work, I did. So, of the handful of times that I've sat in this space, this counts as one of them. <laughs> this has been 2,800 per month. I don't live in the city city of Wuhan, so you do get a little bit more for your money. This was not ideal. This is not, I'm not like, yes, I chose this because it was a good choice to make. No, I chose this because it was the best of a very bad bunch. Engaged realtor, this is what they have at the moment. It's available now. These are your couple of choices. You can see how many neighbors I have, so it's definitely the biggest complex I've ever lived in. I have had a three bedroom place in China before, which is linked to the description box below. But as with that place, exactly the same. There's just rooms that are just shut off and I've never used. I think because the heating and cooling is so poor in these homes that it makes so many spaces just not livable. I don't want to have to be in a goat in winter. And like now, I would rather be in my room under the aircon. I can feel it a little bit and I've had it on all night. So it's cooler in here, in this space, but certainly it's coolest in there. I am actually breaking the lease. The penalty was supposed to be a month's rent. I gave them three days notice to say that I was leaving. Obviously, if you're in more major cities, like tier one cities, Apartments cost a lot more than this and I think yeah because we're sort of in a suburby area Then it costs a little bit less as well than what you can get um, Certainly people that I know even in the same complex their apartments are a lot nicer than this one <laughs> I kind of like at home because the buildings are built so badly You don't really know how warm how cold it is until you are living in it. I only know one of my neighbors, she's a really nice lady. But when I'm in my room, I actually don't hear that. It's, I guess it's just far enough away. But like when it's really windy, when it's thunderstormed here, like my front door rattles, these things you don't know until you move in. So being comfortable in your space is really important. But anyway, wish me luck as I pack and move and We'll see you in the next video, which I don't know what that is going to be. I, I wonder if I should be good and do a, an apartment tour as I move in, <laughs> rather than as I'm leaving.